Hi! It's been a while since I did a, a video, so uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. We're getting ready for a uh, barbecue for Sunday. Today's Saturday, so I figure, uh, you know, what can we do? And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do some caramel coated popcorn using a whirly pop. this up. Alright. A little warm in there. As I rotate this, it mixes those popcorn, the, the popcorn kernels. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to popcorn. You don't want to do microwave. Or you don't want to use pre-pop. You want to pop it yourself. You don't necessarily need a whirly pop. You could popcorn whatever way you want but just make sure it's fresh popcorn all right and we have here we have um, popcorn kernels we got a half a cup we got three teaspoons we got three teaspoons of vegetable oil that goes right in there all right and we're going to put this on medium heat Okay, I'm going to take three kernels and put the three kernels in there. All right, just give it a quick whirl, coat those kernels nicely, and as soon as those three kernels pop, then we're going to then we know that uh, the oil and the vessel is ready for popping. So we're just going to sit here for for a minute or so until that temperature comes up okay they're gonna, they're gonna pop soon I'm gonna be very scared what, it's gonna, is it loud? no okay I just heard two pops yep two pops we, we need one more kernel oh, there goes the third kernel okay now what we're gonna do is is we're gonna we're gonna put the half a cup in there. Okay. Now this is it's kind of fun. Now you want to turn this. All right. Okay. So they're starting to go. Just want to turn this. Get it? Turn the heat down a little. Just turn this until you get some resistance. And once you get resistance on the handle, there you go. I think that's it. So, here we have our popcorn. Now, we're going to put that in a turkey pan. We're going to put it in this turkey pan so it cools. And then while it's cooling, look at that. I believe all of them pop. So what you just want to go through and I see one that didn't pop. Okay. So pretty cool. Doesn't smell burnt or anything. Alright, so we're gonna let that cool. Alright? That's part one. 
while that's cooling, we're going to make the sauce, and the caramel sauce. I'm going to put it on medium. All right, we're going to add a quarter quarter cup of butter, which is half a stick of butter. And let that melt. We're going to put in a um, third cup of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of molasses. All right. So one. Two, we're going to cook this on a medium high heat until the sugar melts, until the butter melts, and everything is smooth. So we're going to continue this until it starts to boil, and then when it boils, we're going to let it boil for about two minutes, three minutes before we take it off the heat. So this is kind. Of, this is up to a boil. All right, we're on medium high. We're going to bring this down, and we're going to let this simmer for three minutes. All right. We'll let that simmer for three minutes. I'm just going to turn it up just a little bit. So while we're waiting for this, we are preheating the oven to 250. All right. I've got a quarter cup of quarter cup. I'm sorry. Quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of baking soda. That's going to go in here. We're going to stir that in. And that's going to really smooth this out. You can see how it's already changed the color of it. All right. Now it's just a matter of coating the popcorn. I'm going to add this to the popcorn. And you'll have to use a spatula, wooden spoon, or something to coat it in the beginning uh, until it's until it's cool enough to do by hand. So it's going to get messy. Now, this is like a Cracker Jacks. Um, Cracker Jacks actually has peanuts in them. I'm not going to put peanuts in this batch, but if I make another batch, I'm definitely going to put peanuts in them. I'll see if it's just like, I'm not going to touch my hand. Yeah, it's still hot. All right, so. going to go in the oven at 250 for an hour but every 15 minutes we're going to we're going to stir it up to make sure that everything is evenly coated so um, i think this is good that looks pretty even so this is good enough for now i can't that was just All right, 
So it's not, it's up to temperature. I'm going to put it in. It's been uh, 15 minutes. I'm going to take this out. And stir it up. Now, you'll notice each time it seems like the, the corn's getting uh, covered more and more. Put it in for another 15 minutes. Okay, so we're at the half hour mark. This is the second 15 minute stir. Okay, so now we're down to the last 15 minutes. All right. So one more time. And I think uh, it's almost it. 14 more minutes left. Then we take it out, stir it up, and let it cool. All right, so that's it. It's been in an hour, in for an hour, and um, it's done. It's just a matter of letting it cool and uh, then eating it. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to let it cool. All right, so we'll let it cool, and then we'll chow down. We're gonna make another batch probably tomorrow. We're gonna to put some peanuts in it. We're gonna to go to a party. We're gonna have this to snack on. Uh, so that's that's it. Cracker Jacks, made at home. Like, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you don't think. Tell me about Huff Paranormal. <gasps> Damn, I went there. Oh, this man. couldn't have happened without Huff Paranormal. It was all the spirits that helped me. <laughs> so, inside joke, my daughter and I have been just like ranking on, on yeah. health. So, anyway, like, subscribe, and uh, be back soon with some more uh, cooking videos. Bye.